Hurricane Teddy is a major hurricane out in the central Atlantic Ocean, recurving right now. It's not expected to impact the Leeward Islands, won't be impacting the Leeward Islands. As it does recurve away, you can see its eye starting to come out on visible imagery there. It's at 19.3 degrees north, 53 degrees west as of 2 p.m. AST, this September the 17th. So, here's the storm's winds up to 120 miles per hour, pressure of 951 millibars, moving northwest at 12 miles per hour, and it's also a stage 3 on the CDPS scale. So getting more into that, that is for Bermuda with moderate wind speed, moderate storm size, low to moderate rainfall potential, and an overall significant threat to land. The storm CDPS scale could change significantly over the next couple of days, with an uptick being more likely than not at this time. We'll just have to see what happens. Currently, a conservative CDPS rating has been given. So that means considerable damage is possible for areas that could get hit by the storm, with tropical storm force winds currently being the expectation at the least for Bermuda. So here's the storm's wind field, not the most symmetric right now, but again, this is a major hurricane with powerful 120 mile per hour winds. And again, it's a category three on the Saffir Simpson scale. You can see there considerable damage is possible, and the storm is not currently impacting any land areas about 585 miles away from St. John's, 598 from Roseau, about 640 from Marigot, uh, about 1,128 from Bermuda, and about 1,877 from Sydney all the way up in there in Canada. There are no watches and warnings in effect at this time for the storm, although that could change with time here as the storm does approach Bermuda. So let's take a look at why we have our intensity estimate. You can see the satellite imagery over there of Teddy, which is undergoing an eyeball replacement cycle right now. Winds of 120 miles per hour are estimated on the storm because, what well, we think it's that. Recon supports it, and the NHC is also running with 120 miles per hour. AMSU is at 115, RAM's at 105, SATCON is at 125, and ABT is all the way at 145 miles per hour. So here's the cone of uncertainty. Bermuda is within that cone, but the storm is expected to go east of Bermuda right now if it follows that center track. The center of circulation very well could go over Bermuda, though. We'll have to watch where that goes with time, and it could impact Nova Scotia and Canada there in about a week's time. We'll be keeping a close eye on that as well. Here's the rainfall forecast over the next seven days, with Bermuda possibly getting anywhere from 8 to 16 inches of rain when the storm does make its closest approach. We'll just have to see what happens. We'll have more clarity on just how much rain's going to fall when the storm does approach. Sea surface temperatures as of 6 UTC are looking quite nice for the storm, 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, with it moving into warmer 29 to 30 degrees Celsius waters here within the next day or so. Here are the chances of tropical storm force winds, and you can see them right here. Bermuda actually with a 70 to 80 percent chance of tropical storm force winds right now. That's probably going to go up with time here, but that again is the chances of tropical storm force winds within the next five days from Teddy. And you can see there that 80 to 90 percent contour just off the coast of Bermuda. When it comes to the chances of hurricane force winds, Bermuda is in the 20 to 30 percent section. We'll see if that goes up or down with time, but it's definitely going to be taking a waiver of one of those directions as the storm does approach. We're not certain just how close that center is going to get to Bermuda, and I can't stress that enough. Here's intensity guidance, which has been lagging behind on the storm right now, I would suggest um, ticking a lot of these up by about 10 to 15 knots, and then you have about what we can probably expect. I'd say a category four is a pretty safe bet at this point. Wind shear for the storm is going to remain low for the next day or so before it does go into the moderate category for about the remainder of its life as it does head towards Bermuda, which is when weekend is expected to begin here. And you can see uh, there after it dips, it's going to skyrocket. Sea surface temperatures are going to be perfectly sufficient for the storm for the next few days before on the 21st they do start to go back down. You can see there uh, the mid-level relative humidity is going to be sinking over the next few days as well. So here's a deeper dive at Teddy's satellite imagery. You can see it here pretty clearly. Uh, and you can see that eye there starting to pop out. Again, Teddy's undergoing an eye wall replacement cycle, but I wouldn't be shocked to see that eye really start to come through in the overnight hours of tonight. And by tomorrow morning, we could be looking at a robust category four hurricane. You can follow our outlets. First of all, the website, force13.com, with new articles coming out all the time for your reading pleasure about all things weather. YouTube.com forward slash force13 with our tropical weather bulletins, animations, and tropical updates. You can also find us on Facebook for more information on those things. And then also on Twitter, we have the U.S. branches and AU branches on there as well, but you can see the URL below.
teespring.com slash store slash force13. That's where you can find things like the Smug Mug to buy. And finally, the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash force13 where you can support the project and help it become even better.